Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my life living in an RV and as a YouTube creator. So I thought I would share with you some of the feedback I have gotten from last night's video. And part of that video was me showing in a campground in a state park. I was in a camping site and I showed someone camping literally 20 feet out my front door in a spot that was not a camping spot. And I showed that there was a camping spot behind me. I showed that there were other overflow camping spots down the road from me that was wide open. And I share things like this a lot because um, I share like, I don't understand why people want to camp right up on somebody. And I recognize like that's my own personal preference and that might be like a little bit of projection. like. I would never camp right up on somebody, so I don't understand why anybody else would want to camp right up on somebody. But last night in the video, I mean, they had other options, including a legitimate campsite right behind me with fences and a picnic table and a fire pit, I think, and everything. And they still chose to camp 20 feet outside my door. So I think what I am struggling with in these circumstances and what I wanted to talk to you about today is common courtesy. So uh, the feedback is is not surprising. I always get the same feedback. I, I play the victim. Oh, I'm always a victim. Oh my God. Will you just stop? You're such a victim. And I'm the selfish one because how dare I not take their feelings into consideration that maybe they just feel more comfortable being close to you. And, and that's a big one. And the, the biggest theme I think that I have seen is maybe they didn't know better. And again, you know, why didn't you just go make friends with them? So this isn't a video about me explaining myself. I wanted to share my thoughts on common courtesy and why I got so triggered by it. So first of all, is me talking about my feelings, my thoughts, my needs, my boundaries, is that me playing a victim? Of course not. I don't think you know the difference between talking about feelings and sharing processes with people versus what it really means to play victim. Uh, if I would not be able to thrive in the independent life that I live if I was always playing victim. That's just those those two things are mutually exclusive, in my opinion. Uh, somebody who is constantly playing victim isn't a doer, a get out and go and do things. You know, they kind of just mull uh, in their in their victimhood. That's not what this is about. This is about me sharing experiences to maybe help people understand. And also really also because I think a lot of the issues that I face are very common for other survivors, other women. So it's not about playing victim. It's about really understanding what's happening to our society and why people feel entitled to infringe on other people's space. That's, that's it. I, Re even let's say for a minute that yeah you know what they feel more comfortable being around other people and I've said this before if I'm camped three miles down a dirt road and I'm the only one around for a mile and somebody comes and camps right next to me because they feel more comfortable being around people that's not my problem so they are infringing upon my desire, my need for space for their own personal selfish benefit. When, if they wanted, if they felt more comfortable being around people, there's always plenty of camping spaces around other people. The same with this couple in the campground. It was a campground. There was somebody camped behind me. 20 feet away. If they really wanted to feel safe, they could have camped in the site behind me, sandwiched between us. It wasn't about them needing to feel safe. It was about them mindlessly parking wherever the hell they wanted to park without taking me into consideration at all. And that's what triggers me. I was so triggered by that whole situation. And I think as a woman, I think as a survivor, I think as someone who is still working through much of my trauma, when my boundaries, when my personal space is bulldozed like that, 
when they spend 15 minutes trying to park as close to me as literally it took them 15 minutes they didn't just pull in and stop they were out there 15 minutes trying to find the perfect spot as close to me as possible to camp for the night and not once did they think hmm are we too close are we blocking her view maybe she would like more privacy nope it was all about them and that is the struggle I have with society and that's why I share things like that maybe it'll cause other people watching my videos to think if you see somebody out in the middle of nowhere and I need people to feel comfortable why would I infringe on their space for my own selfish desires go camp in a group of people if that's what you want don't go three miles out a dirt road and find the person who's out there by choice to give you the comfort you need because you're infringing upon their space. Of course, it's public land. It's a public campground. They can do whatever they want. That's not the point. The point is, why have we become so selfish that we don't even consider other people? The thing is, too, if somebody came and knocked on my door and said, you know what? I, I'm scared, whatever, would you mind if I camped next to you? And if they had a legitimate reason, I'd be like, sure. But if they were just like, you know what, I like the view better here, I'd be like, yeah, no, you're, you're blocking my view because you like your view. So you're completely selfishly putting your needs over mine. And people are like, well, why didn't you just go talk to them? Why didn't you make friends with them? This one woman said, you really have issues. You need, I live full-time part of the year and you have issues. I don't understand why you hate people so much. Why didn't you just go make friends with them? Why would I go make friends with a selfish asshole who just completely blocked my view and infringed upon my space? You want me to make friends? And this is, this blows my mind as a woman and someone who yes who has been the victim of abuse and assault you want me to just make friends with the person who bulldozed my boundaries really really i'm not going to make friends with somebody who is so inconsiderate and you want me to just go make friends and and play nice because because don't get upset they they have needs forget about your needs as women we're told that all the time one guy a white guy, according to his picture, said, you just need to get over it. You just need to get over it. Isn't that what women are always told? Your ass is grabbed. Not a big deal. Just get over it. You're sexually assaulted. Oh, you know what? It's not like you were killed. It's not like you were violently raped. Just get over it. We are always told to just get over it. And who does that protect? It protects the people who bulldoze our boundaries, who take without asking, who come along and just act like they own everything, own all of us, and they just take. By telling me you're just a victim, shut up. By telling me just get over it, you are telling me to accept people bulldozing my boundaries. You are telling me to accept people lacking common decency common courtesy is that the world you want or you just want women to shut up so you can take and do whatever you want yeah i was triggered i was so triggered the entire time they were there i wanted when they first got there and and within a couple hours i wanted to be able to go out and say you know i'm you may not realize that you're really close and that this is really uncomfortable you being so close especially considering there are spots down there you know you you may not realize you blocked my view and I now have to close all my curtains on I mean I was literally I felt like a prisoner inside my RV because it, in an area where I shouldn't have to be it's not like I was in a Walmart parking lot I was in a campground with a beautiful view I had to close all my curtains if I wanted to go to the bathroom, if I wanted to change, and even if I wanted to cook, because they were outside their RV, literally looking over here. No courtesy whatsoever. No consideration of me whatsoever. And I was so triggered. And I recognized, this is old stuff coming up. I was so triggered. I recognized this is old wounding, but I could not calm myself down. This is a challenge, too, of living alone. I don't have someone else here to help 
me. I got to work through all this stuff in real time on my own. I also didn't want to move because I was in a campground. I'd already paid for the night. My, my panels were out. My Starlink was out. And I would have literally had to leave the campground four or five o'clock at night and go find boondocking. So leaving wasn't an option for me. So I'm stewing in my triggeredness, trying to calm myself down. And I couldn't. This was, I'm usually pretty good at self-soothing. I have, I've had to be. I could, I was so triggered. I couldn't calm myself down. I wasn't relaxed until they left the next day. I was, I went out in the morning and I walked Sadie and they looked, they were out and I didn't look at them. I didn't acknowledge them. I, if I did, I gave them a, the dirtiest look I could summon. I was so triggered. And I think I was triggered because it brought up old wounding of not being seen, not being considered. This is a theme in my life. And for all the people who judge me that I'm antisocial, that I'm selfish for not taking their needs into consideration. This isn't about the rules of the campground. This isn't about the fact that they had the right to be there. Absolutely, they had the right to be there. But why would you not consider the person who's already there? I purposely chose that spot on the end with my door facing that way thinking I would have that space outside my door. When I pull into a camping spot to a campground I am extremely mindful of my needs for safety and security and privacy and I act accordingly. So like I said I expected somebody behind me and I was prepared for that. And interestingly enough, the night before, a guy pulled in in a car in the same area, only not right outside my door. He pulled up, set up a tent, sat out there and cooked. I think he had a dog, but he was, he, he was mindful. He was conscious of my personal space and did not park right outside my front door. So while, yes, it's not illegal, it wasn't against the rules, that's not the point. The point is common courtesy. The point is why are we all of a sudden a society without boundaries? Why are we a society that says, you know what, I'm going to camp here and fuck you. I don't care. Yeah, I can see I'm blocking your view, but fuck you. I don't care. I want this view. So I'm going to take it. Maybe that's another thing that triggered me. Fuck you and your needs. I'm going to take from you, and that's what it felt like, what I want. They wanted my view, and so they fucking took it. So this is not, again, this isn't, isn't me explaining anything. So a lot of people wanted to stand up for the people who, to, in my mind, were completely selfish and inconsiderate. Why didn't I think about them? And it's such a common talk track for women to hear how dare you have your own feelings? Why didn't you, you need to take care of them. They needed to feel safe. So why are you getting, why, oh, oh, smile. Why are you getting your pretty little head all upset? They just needed you, you. They needed your presence. So don't be upset. It's not about you. So I just wanted to, share this both with women who might feel a lot of the things I feel and get triggered and, and need their space to feel comfortable and safe. And I also wanted to share it in the hopes that other people might understand. Um, there's a woman uh, who posts, I get a couple women who live in vans and they say the same thing. When I'm out, I like camping next to other people because it makes me feel safe. It is not my job to make you feel safe. You are making it my job. You are making it my problem, my responsibility. You are infringing upon my need for solitude and taking that over for your need to feel safe. If you wanna feel safe, go hang out with other people. Don't come up to me. If I'm out in the middle of nowhere, three miles down a road alone, it's because I wanna be. I don't want company. 
And it's not my job to make you feel safe three miles out a dirt road if you want to camp out there, but you want to be next to me. Does that make sense? Why is it my job to make everybody else feel comfortable and safe? It's common courtesy. That's just, uh, that's what it comes down to. Understanding boundaries, respecting boundaries, respecting personal space. And even if the law says you can, consider who your actions are affecting. I, I don't understand why that's so difficult to understand and why Every time I talk about issues like this, rather than say, yeah, you know what, we could all have a little more common courtesy, they could have parked down the road. And, and I'm gonna, don't get me wrong, a vast majority of you said yes, that was absolutely way too close. But I don't know, there were still a, enough of you who said that I just needed to get over it. I need to stop playing a victim. I need to stop being so antisocial. Why didn't you just make friends with them? You need to hang out with me so I can show you how to make friends with people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was friends with the neighbor behind me. They pulled in a couple days earlier. They pulled in after me. We talked every morning. I was friends with them. I was friends, made, you know, I kind of made friends with the lady and her family in the slot canyons. Anybody who has met me in real life knows that I like people. I just don't like idiots and I'm not going to make friends with somebody who obviously doesn't understand common decency and boundaries. And I just, I still, the more I talk about this, the more that blows my mind that people are like, why didn't you just go make friends with them? Do you want me to make friends with someone who doesn't respect my boundaries? Says a lot about you. That says a lot about you. I've spent my whole life working on myself to have healthy boundaries and to be extremely careful about who and what I let into my life. I do not allow toxic, negative energy people who don't understand boundaries and stuff into my life. Why would I make friends with a stranger who showed me right off the bat who they are? Yeah, one more thing I want to say is, is for the people who said, you know, why don't you understand where they're coming from? I did try to understand where they're coming from. And this is something that I've been working on for years in therapy is to try to understand other people's motives and what they're bringing to the table and any wounding they might have so that I don't feel so triggered or that I don't take what they do so personally. That's a work in progress. I think it's going to be a work in progress for a long time for me. And yeah, you know what? I got really, really triggered. And did I tell you I was going to try to go over? I think I did tell you that. I was going to try to go over and let them know in a really kind, calm way that they had invaded my space, but I just couldn't calm down enough. And I knew that in the state, the triggered state that I was in, I would not have been able to be kind. I would not have been able to be understanding and empathetic. And so I knew I couldn't face them. I couldn't even smile at them. I couldn't look at them. I was so triggered. I, I, I don't know why that triggered me so much. Cause I've had people, but that one, uh, I mean, I was, I was a tight, tight, not mess. I was so triggered. And so I wasn't able in that moment to have a conversation with them about, about them being there. I wish I could have, I would have, because I'm, I am very assertive, but I have learned that you have to be in the, or for me, I have to be in the right frame of mind in order to assert myself or it could spiral out of control really fast. If I'd gone over there defensive with a chip on my shoulder, angry, it wouldn't have gone well. And I kept trying to calm myself down and I just wasn't able to get to the place where I could say, hey, you know, you kind of park close or did you realize, did you realize you were 20 feet out my door and that, you know, that might be uh, a little close for some people. I wasn't able to do that. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. And I know a lot of times you guys really do like my rants. They're rants with a purpose. Um, and if you missed the first video, I'll put a link in the video description and a card at the end so that you can check out that video and see what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you all so much. I'll uh, talk to you soon. In the meantime, be happy, be free, be kind, be respectful. That's all I ask.